Protests swept across the Middle East for the second day, at times erupting in violence, as demonstrators denounced both Israel and the United States. In the Iranian capital of Tehran, police pushed back students trying to overtake the United Nations compound. In Lebanon, authorities assaulted by rock-throwing protesters used water cannons and tear gas to disperse the angry crowds. Emotions were also inflamed in Turkey, which has been mediating indirect peace talks between Israel and Syria. The diplomatic fallout was swift, as Syria today called off the negotiations. And in London, some 1,500 protesters descended on the Israeli embassy to denounce the airstrikes. You destroyed the world, you destroyed the children, you destroyed the peace in the world. Calls for a ceasefire echoed around the globe, from Pope Benedict pressing for an end to what he called the perverse logic of conflict and violence, to the UN Security Council, where the US again blamed Hamas for provoking the Israeli air assaults. The way forward uh, uh, from here is uh, for rocket attacks uh, against Israel to stop, for all violence to end. A senior advisor to President-elect Barack Obama reiterated the U.S. commitment to Israel. It's an important bond, an important relationship. He's going to honor it. Uh, and he wants to be a constructive force in helping to bring about the peace and security that both the Israelis and the Palestinians uh, want and deserve. The Bush administration had no comment. The president is vacationing at his home in Texas, where he did speak on the phone with his national security advisor. And, of course, he will receive updates depending on events, Priya. Thalia Shuris in Washington, D.C. tonight. Thalia, thank you.